Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a first impressions product review on the one and only Fenty Beauty. So, okay. Let me tell you guys my struggle. I tried not to hop on this wave. I know myself. I love anything Riri. I love anything Rihanna. I own about four pair of slides, two pairs of creepers. Like if it's Riri, I'm there, okay? I call Rihanna my mother, so if you hear me refer to her as my mother in this video, that's normal. I call her my mother. But when it came down to Fenty Beauty, I was trying to hold back. I was trying not to be my normal Rihanna obsessed self. As you can see, <laughs> that failed and yeah I basically just was like watching YouTube videos on it nobody had nothing bad to say there's 40 foundation shades how can you have anything negative to say about that and then I couldn't even sleep like I woke up at 7 o'clock this morning like I'm going to get these products because I'm gonna be upset if I wait and then they're all sold out and then I have to wait to get them when I could have got them when everybody else got them. Like why well, I gotta be late? So honey, we're going to get into these products, okay? Because I went a little crazy. I went a little crazy. But it's okay, it's okay. We're going through this face. We're gonna see how everything works out. Now a little disclaimer, I did try this stuff in the store. So I'm gonna just let y'all know I'm already shook. I, I've been shooken already. They already slayed my life and I was just like, I need to bring this to my channel because I'm a regular degla schmegla girl. Like, I'm not getting paid from YouTube. So me coming on here and reviewing this for you guys is my honest opinion. And I love my mother, but if this shit wasn't good, excuse my language, I wasn't gonna, I was taking it all back. Okay. <laughs> so let's get into this video. Okay, so I didn't purchase her primer, so I did prime with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, I didn't purchase her primer because I didn't feel like I needed it. I heard it smells really good. Um, they did put it on me when I tested out the foundation in Sephora and my makeup was lasting and he did not set it with a powder with a setting spray with nothing so i do actually recommend the primer i just didn't buy it for myself okay so before i get into putting all this stuff on my face i want to let you guys know what i got and the reasons why i got it and also tell you the prices which i'm sure you can look up yourself but i like when youtube videos are thorough and informative and give you all the information so I'm trying to do that for you guys. So first off is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I am in the shade 370. Now let me tell you guys something about there being 40 shades to choose from. Your girl was not about to sit there and swatch away and try to figure it out, no. I go to find an employee because that's what they're there for and normally I don't even like to be helped but no <laughs> there's 40 shades I was not doing it so I went to go find an employee and he color matched me but not using the little device using his god-given sight and he matched me to a shade 410 now I'm a little light skin. I have a tan right now, but I am on the lightish brown side. So 410 is some of the deepest shades that they have. And let's just say that wasn't my shade. So I always double check with Sephora because I already been through this before. I know, I know the struggle, okay? So I find the sales associate who's actually working with Fenty Beauty that is her specialty and she did it the proper way she matched me with three different foundations and she chose the one that she felt fit me the best which was 390 
Now, <clears throat> one thing about these foundations is that they do oxidize. So it might look like your perfect shade when you initially put it on, but as time goes on, or as it sits on your face for a minute or so, it's going to oxidize. So when I got to another Sephora, because they did not have the foundation in the shade 390 at that Sephora, and I cold around because I was not ending my shopping spree with just this other stuff that I brought. No, I wanted the foundation. So, <laughs> I cooled around the other stores. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I'm trying to be thorough, but um, they had it in Georgetown. If you don't know, I go to Howard and I live in DC. So, I went to Georgetown and I got color matched again because I just wanted to see it on my whole face to make sure that was actually my shade and it wasn't so we ended up with 370 and when this oxidizes it is my perfect shade so what I would suggest to you guys is definitely going in store I cannot order this online I would have messed that all the way up and I'm normally very good at color matching myself but <laughs> no so enough about that foundation just go get color matched and make sure that they're giving you the right information because the last sales associate that i went to he was on the money he was he had it he knew, he knew. so the foundation is 34 dollars which i feel like is very affordable because we all seen the 50 dollars 60 dollars foundation and let me tell you this little shopping spree would not have happened if only baby girl you know bad gallery rick foundation was $60 but I, de I definitely did not show y'all the packaging I'm slacking so this is what the packaging looks like very pretty it has a frost detailing on it so next I got this matchstick trio in tan 300 and it comes with caramel truffle and rum so this is a trio and basically it comes with these three shades which you can conceal, contour, and do your highlight with. Um, I feel like this is a good investment. It is $54, but I feel like it's a good investment because the single um, matchstick is $25. So you're basically getting three for the price of two, which I'm here for I'm all here for saving money I'm a college student so definitely get the trio and I'll show you the cool thing about these later on in the video I just want to get through these prices so next I picked up the matchstick in cinnamon and so basically this is similar to this but it's just a different highlight shade and I really like this one and you can buy these individually which is what I did here and I also brought the shade confetti but the product that I forgot to mention is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo and this is in the shade ginger binge and Moscow mule so it looks like this and this was $34 finally I brought the lip gloss and the lip gloss was $18 and I'm a lip gloss girl so I'm here for the lip gloss I am definitely a lip gloss girl so yeah all right guys so let me give you guys a compiled total so in the first store I spent $138.53 and then in the other store I spent $62.39 so if you add that all together, you come to the total of $292. So that is how much I spent on my mother today. And I'm excited. I do not regret it and you guys are about to see why I'm excited. So I'm gonna stop talking and we are gonna get into this makeup. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Starting off with the foundation in the shade 370 as I mentioned before. I am not going to color correct because one thing I noticed about this foundation, although it claims to be medium to full coverage, 
packaging <laughs> it does do a very good job of covering me up and I don't have very bad skin so we're not going to do that so the packaging also says to shake it very well so that is what I'm gonna do and then I'm just pulling my mirror closer if you see me looking over to my left I'm gonna pump this on the back of my hand this foundation is watery so be careful and I'm gonna use my finger to just dot it on my face now I know you're probably thinking girl this is light remember what I said about how it oxidizes that is a real thing because all the baby boy in the first Sephora store he was about to have me looking crazy so she also has a beauty sponge that she launched with her line I also did not get that because I know she's gonna come out with more stuff and if there's anything I feel like I need later I could get it then but a sponge wasn't my main priority so I'm just gonna pat this into my face like so and y'all I was in love like I didn't even know what to do like I was so excited and it just like sinks into your skin like ooh. literally was dying in the store I might speed this up for you guys so you don't have to like watch me be very thorough with this but that's how I like to be with applying foundation so it might be a little tedious to watch but I want to make sure everything is nice and blended because I am going out with this one so we are doing over test as well that should be interesting but i do think that her sponge could be a good investment if you guys are thinking about getting it i just personally did not think i needed to spend money on that and i'm a sucker for buying anything so if i say i don't need it then i probably don't need it okay boom like <laughs> guys do you see this i just transformed in front of y'all and here's the thing if you've been watching me lately you know i do not really like matte foundations like that anymore but this is a soft matte foundation and it's not like that grueling drying matte like this is a nice you better come through with the natural beat matte okay and so boom that is our foundation I absolutely love the way it comes across very natural and I'm working on doing more natural looks so I definitely appreciate that so that is the foundation <clears throat> so next we're gonna go in with the trio and I'm going to use the highlight and contour shades out of this trio so once again this is tan 300 and I am in love they are magnets girl I am a sucker for packaging like <laughs> Riri why you do this to me like I had to buy this I had to okay so freaking cute but anyway we're gonna go on with the color caramel <gasps> it's huge like what okay I gotta get my life real quick I didn't try this out in the store so this is why this is like my initial okay we're gonna highlight with this oh wow it's creamy oh god and I don't currently own any like highlighter sticks or foundation sticks. So this is why this is so like interesting to me. Okay. So we're gonna blend that out. Wow. Okay. Like that was effortless. Y'all will hate me by the end of this video with these sound effects, but oh my gosh. Just move my hair back a little bit more. Wow, look at me. I have small eyelids because I have super dark eyelids, and she does not have any um, eyeshadow shades, but the matchsticks in the more wild colors can definitely serve as a um, eyeshadow. Alright, so the highlight is on my face, the concealer, and it definitely brought a lot more life back to my face, and I think I am loving this so far. So caramel definitely did me justice, so now I'm going to go in with truffle and cream contour, which I do not normally do, so I am excited to see how this goes, because yeah, 
And I love the fact that Rihanna made these trios because she basically made it easy on you if you don't normally do this. Like me, I don't cream contour and I don't, yeah, I don't do this on red, but I don't. I prefer to powder contour nowadays. So she's bringing it back. She's bringing me back to my cream contouring days, you know? I'm here for it, here for it. All right, let's blend this out. Once again, super creamy. And I normally don't blend out these products with a beauty blender, but if I feel like I need to switch to a brush, I would do so. And this is not because the product isn't moving. It's simply because I'm trying not to mess up my hair, girl. Like, like I said, I'll basically go keep messing up the hair now. I'm trying to get the slay without messing up the hair. Yeah, I think I need a brush, so just give me one second. I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush that came in a set to just blend this out, and I think this would work a lot better. Yeah, it's working a lot better already. Simply because brushes just blend out products like this faster, so I think I could have achieved the same thing with the Beauty Blender, it's just that this one's a lot faster. I completely forgot that I put something down here. And it's like so natural. Like. Just pop. My nose contour. Where... So I said I can't even speak. Okay. Oh, I'm about to check on my nose. I could just tell already. And this brush is a little bit too big. This ain't what I normally use. So you see me struggling. That's why. I'm just too lazy to reach down and get the other brush. Okay, got that in the wrong spot. See, I'm just gonna see all my trial and error right now. That's what you're gonna see. All right, boom. So, I've seen a lot of your favorite YouTubers just leaving this as is, not set in, not a thing. I ain't playing those games, I'm sorry. Mm. I, I have faith, but I ain't got that much faith. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercy A and just set under my eyes because better safe than sorry. And this is a translucent powder, it has no color. So, yeah, because like I said before, you see, my, eye, my eyelids already done did it. That's my eyelids, so okay, I can't blame it. But I am going out and I refuse. refuse. I can't look crazy. Okay. That, that's just not though. Go be around a whole bunch of people who don't know me. Can't look crazy. So we're just gonna set that. And I'll be back. Alright, so boom. That's done. Now, um <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm upset. But I'm not gonna use the highlighter that um comes in the trio because I got a little extra spice for y'all. I got something that nobody else done did in a video. And I know because I watched them all. Especially for us women of color. Okay. So I'm just going to swatch this on my hand. So you guys can see what it looks like. So that is it right there. It is a just very like subtle highlight. It's not really like you know blind my haters. But it cute. It cute. So that's rum. Feeling these names, girl. Feeling them. And I just stuck to the other one. <sighs> Come on, Re. Come on, Ma. Like, it's like my life like that. So this is the matchstick in cinnamon. Okay, like sin. Like S I N. Like, you know. Okay, I was supposed to say, Come on. Come on, camera. Look, 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 look. This is why I couldn't pass this up. This shade is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So I'm gonna swatch that next to rum. So this is cinnamon right here, and this is rum. Super cute. It's like a pinkish, it's like a pinkish highlight. And this is more of that like rose gold. So, yeah. Those are those two. Couldn't leave that there. Couldn't, couldn't leave it there. I got four, babe. I got four. And then 
for the one that I'm actually actually no I'm gonna use two so I'm gonna go into the kilowatt highlighter duo and I'm going to use this as a blush because this is a very pretty packaging packaging so this is what the inside looks like and like I said they remind me of blush colors but they are highlights so I am going to apply this to my cheeks because I feel like that's where it would be better place I'm going to take the Morphe brush like I said she did have brushes but your girl was trying I was trying to run okay wasn't trying to wasn't trying to do too much and this I'm using this brush does shed I hate that about it but I'm using the ginger binge side to put this on right now actually I'm not gonna use this brush because the shedding is going to drive me bananas so I'm actually going to use this brush and pat that in there and then pop that right on my cheek mm. like reek one oh. this is like so freaking bomb okay like mm. 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 <laughs> all right I'm just feeling like a model and because I'm using this as a blush I'm not I'm not going to use the other shade but I will swatch it for you guys guys it is too good to pass so boom boom and it has a mirror in the inside but that is what Moscow mule looks like so one is a more sparkly in your face kind of highlight and the other one is more subtle which is why I use it as a blush because I feel like it can be used as a blush so that's why it's kind of like the max ultra dimension blushes so that's what I think of but these are all three of the highlighters that I got with the exception of ginger binge because that's what's actually on my face moving on to one of the products that i honestly did not think i was gonna like i didn't think this was for me i didn't think this had any place in my makeup stash cabinet whatever you want to call it boom i got five boom okay but this is confetti and i'm going to put confetti on as my highlighter this is what confetti looks like it is like an iridescent white purpley color I'm gonna swatch it right under here for you guys it is iridescent it actually looks like it's purple but wait 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 just, just hold on just hold on hold on okay cuz it ain't fair that we get to shine like this it, it's not like she shouldn't she shouldn't have girl okay. so that's how it just looks like without me blending it out so i'm going to take the back of actually okay let me use my finger because i don't know what other brush i wanted to use but i couldn't find it i looked down and i didn't see it so that means i don't have it or god i want to use my finger but with these products it does say that you can use your finger so you're not doing yourself an injustice by using your finger but your finger does contain oil so you might want to look oh oh my god I'm dead. Like I'm, I'm dead. Look at look look look. Look how we shining. Look look. Girl, I wasn't supposed to like this. I wasn't. This was not in the plans for me. But it looked so good on me that I was like, why? Why? Why do you look at me? You wasn't supposed to look at. You know what I'm saying? And actually, I like, I am going to use. Oh, wait, I gotta wipe the door. I hate when, like, the product gets on product. You know what I mean? Every single time it happens, I'm shit. Okay. So, I'm actually going to. Like, I could just pick it up. 
to be like, girl, what you use in a day? All right, I'm gonna actually use rum to hop on my cupid's bow with that. That that that's what you need, girl, girl. And I'm gonna pop it down my nose. You see why I hopped on my bed this morning, girl? Thinking about getting my sleep on. But nope. I, I slept enough. And I wasn't going to completely be sleep. Okay? So. <sighs> it's sad to say that this is all that I have for this video. But, you guys, this is Re. Re ain't going to just drop some and then not drop nothing else. I'm lying to you. I ain't do my lips. So, <laughs> this is Fenty's Gloss Balm. And it is a universal lip luminizer. And it is in the shade Fenty Glow, which I am already glowing. So, play my life some more. Okay. I love my mother. I love my mother. So, this is what Gloss Balm looks like or Fenty Glow looks like. And I'm just gonna pop this on my lips. I am a lip gloss girl. I will go outside strictly wearing lip gloss and mascara. So, here for it. And this applicator, I'm done. Like, look, look. It is huge, okay? Appreciate you because some of those girls got bigger lips and them little baby applicators was not working. But she came through. I'm so this thing. You see me? I'm I'm already trained to just. But yes. So this is what we are working with. And if I really wanted to be spicy, I could pop this on my eyelid. Hey right, guys. So my camera shut off because it forgot who I was real quick and what I was doing and what this was. But. We gonna act like that didn't happen. So, yeah, girl, I'm sad to say. <sighs> I'm sad to say that that is all that I purchased this time around, but knowing my mom, She'll be back with some more fire, okay? Because packaging is a fire, okay? Okay? Fire. Girl, we all can use... Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm about to be everywhere like... Like... What's my name? Her name is Riri. I will say it for you guys. What? What we better do? Work, 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 work. You see me everywhere. Work, 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 work. You see me do me da 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 da. Somebody work, 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 work. Like, how can they not look at you? Look at you. In this fancy beauty. You better get your song because this is what he came for. This is what he came for. And I know at this point of the video, you're probably just like, wow, wow, wow. When I'm with Fenty Beauty, I know I'm giving y'all wild thoughts. Like I know you want to go to the store. Go, go. You know this is for the bag. Kitty, kitty, baby, get it. There's a rest. Nah, we can't give sexy beauty no rest. We can't give it no rest. But I'm done. I'm done. I'm slayed. I'm done. Natural runway slay. Natural everyday slay. Y'all, go get you some fancy beauty. Like, honestly, when have you ever seen me this excited? I'm amped up. I'm, I'm all the way up, okay? I'm feeling myself. I'm happy. Go. Go get you some Fenty Beauty, please, please, don't make me beg you. Like, if you don't like it, take it back. 
but if you don't like you a hater so i can't talk to you and <laughs> now let me stop but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i hope it was helpful like i said i am a regular college student i ain't had 200 dollars to be spending on this but i found it because it was worth it and look at my face i didn't even set this it's not fair i know it's not fair go get you some before it sells out don't don't go through what i was about to go through don't be sad you ain't gotta be sad you could be happy you could be slaying in your fancy beauty so tomorrow because it is now 7 42 i don't know if sephora is still open but if it is girl go in your pajamas they don't they don't judge you buying you 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 pull it up pull it up that's you okay so watch it all fall out Peace. <laughs>